spirit of the Shokunin is to strive for perfection. So in our work, right, it's never ever 100%. I think it's always 99.9%. So there's always that 0.01% that you can improve on further. I was doing this as a hobby, tinkering around with making things from when I was a banker to a teacher. Also when I was on retrenchment, driving a private hire car. I found myself thinking constantly about this and, and it totally consumed me. So at some point, I decided that, you know, this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life. Being in Kyoto made me realize that there's a concept known as half a pencil line. So only if you have sharp tools are you able to remove half a pencil line. Can you imagine how sharp that tool needs to be? Now, half a pencil line means that you slice off half the line from one member and you slice off half the pencil line from the other member so that when they join together, there's no gap. And that's what we are aiming for. I really enjoy doing Komiko work because of the quiet nature of, of this art form. You literally sit down and cut every piece by hand. Doing Kumiko work gives me a certain stillness of mind. It has a calming nature. I hope that when these pieces uh, end up in my customers' places, they get to enjoy the same feeling that I enjoy while making it. It took three months to complete these three panels because every piece is cut individually by hand to exactly the right length and angle to make this space work. And of course, in these three panels, there are hundreds of these faces. One commonly used pattern in making kumiko is the asanoha pattern. Now this asanoha pattern, uh, I really like it because it signifies a new lease of life. Uh, I seldom replicate my designs. Every piece is customized to the client. I want them to have a very unique piece. The craftsman has to remain humble and that is why I never ever sign my pieces off with my name, but rather with the name of Moko Wood Studios. In bonsai, there is a stage where you do nothing. It's that stage where the tree needs time to grow. You have to resist the urge to trim the tree there's also a stage in woodcrafting where you cut it down to size, do nothing, just let it breathe and acclimatize. For a creative person, uh, it matters a lot where you do nothing. It's a time for reflection. Let your creative uh, juices flow. So in terms of building a sideboard, it's not my first. But in terms of incorporating a lot of triangular shapes into this, it's a first for me. It's inspired by Mount Fuji. So there are triangles appearing here and there in the joinery, and also you will see it on the door. I couldn't find anybody who could mentor myself, so I made a personal commitment to provide this platform for budding learners. There are no secrets here. If anybody does even better than I do, I sincerely wish them luck and I'm very, very happy for them because I'm very proud to have been part of their journey. I'm very grateful that my wife, Pamela, wears additional hats in the family to allow me the time to pursue the craft.
I think many people underestimate the amount of time that's needed. Not only is time needed in production, but time is also needed in the perfection of the craft.